All right, so I made a video talking about the PS5 console design, which by the way, if you guys missed that video, I'll throw a link in the description or a card on screen. And I got a bunch of comments. Um, people were debating between physical games versus digital games because we have the digital edition of the PS5 and we have the standard PS5, which comes with a optical disc drive. So honestly, I'm going with the digital edition still, despite the comments. Um, but I understand why somebody would get the Blu-ray drive edition just because if the internet get messed up, then they have the optical drive. And I understand all of that. This is a debate where there's really no winner or loser here. No matter which version you go with, it's still going to have amazing hardware. It's still the same amazing experience. It's the same as that console, but one has a disk drive and one doesn't have a disk drive. And some people would say you may as well get the one with the optical disk drive just because you have that option to. But we got to understand the price difference. We don't know what the price is yet for the PlayStation 5. I'm hearing some rumors saying it's going to be $500 or $600. I'm even hearing something crazy like that. Um, but we got to see the price difference. If it's a $50 difference, then okay, I understand. Probably get the one with the disk drive but if it's anything more than that like a hundred plus dollars then i would recommend going with the digital edition but you do you you're still the same console i'm going to do another poll i'm going to have a poll on the top right and i'm also going to do a poll on twitter so make sure you guys follow me on twitter at simply pops but anyway i want to talk about some information that you guys probably don't know about the ps5 and some new information now first things first, the console can lay sideways. Officially confirmed by Sony, you can lay the console sideways, you're gonna have no problems whatsoever. So you can either stand up horizontally or vertically. Also during the event yesterday, you can see a slight glimpse of the PS5 UI. So the UI was actually shown, maybe some people didn't pay attention to it, but it's actually like a brown uniface. It's a little weird. I thought it would be like an all white with blue text or something like that. Maybe you can even customize it to your liking, but anyway, this is how it looks from that slight little glimpse that we got yesterday. Let me know down in the comments down below how you guys feel about that UI interface of the PS5, just that slight glimpse. Um, let me know down in the comments down below and also once they reveal it make sure you guys subscribe to this channel because I'm definitely going to be covering that. Now there are some patents that Sony may use on the PS5 UI like stat tracking, overlay hints for games and video guides or maybe even the picture in picture mode which will be fantastic. Imagine watching a YouTube video and playing a game at the same time. I don't know maybe you're watching a walkthrough and you can see the video and then do it on the other side of the screen that would be like a great feature i hope sony adds that now another thing too the playstation 5 is physically larger than you might expect i know watching the reveal trailer it looks small it looks tiny compared to the xbox series x but if you put it on this scale right here this is actually taller than the xbox series x this is the tallest playstation yet and even comparing it to the Xboxes, this is the tallest console ever. So you might want to find some room for the PS5. And also what's weird is the Xbox X is actually shorter and fatter, but then the PlayStation is like thinner, but it's taller. It's a little weird, but both consoles, they look beautiful, but the PlayStation, I like that one better than the Xbox Series X, in my opinion. But moving on from that, the Playroom will be pre-installed and it will be free on all PlayStation 5. So yeah, so the Playroom, similar to the PS4, that's going to be pre-installed on all PS5s. And just to quickly answer yesterday's video, yes, if you pick up a regular PS5, you can play physical and digital games. If you pick up the digital edition of the PS5, you only allowed to play digital games. And like I said on that video, unless Sony comes out with an attachment, that's just, you're just downloading all your games. Now, as for the pre-orders, they're currently not available yet, but you can sign up for email notifications through Best Buy. Expect to pay a deposit up front to secure your PS5 console. Expect to pay maybe either $50 or $100 just to hold your unit. And I think we can all agree those days of lining up outside for a console, those days might be dead because the whole COVID-19 thing and maybe people just don't do that anymore because we have online shopping. But yeah, I don't know. Only time will tell if people are gonna do that. Congratulations. 
not, I'm pretty sure they're going to have that in stores. But hey, I don't know. I can't wait for the PS5. I can't wait to see what's inside, what's powering it. Can't wait to unbox it, review it. It's going to be amazing. Now, things to keep in mind of, you have six fans with a vapor chamber. That's according to the console dev kits. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to correlate to the PS5 console, the retail edition. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, the predicted pricing is $500. But we, we might get a price reveal sometime this summer, either July or August. We also might get another event to showcase the user interface, how that's going to work. Or maybe even a trailer that could drop at any time, honestly. Yeah, things are looking good for uh, PlayStation and Sony. And I apologize to Sony because I thought they was going to lose this console generation because Xbox was just moving fast. They showcased the console. They showcased the games. They did so many things. And I was like, Sony, what are they doing? They showing the logo. And boy, oh boy, things changed yesterday real fast, <laughs> real quick. And yeah, I was wrong. Also, the memes are going crazy. The PlayStation 5 design memes are going crazy. Some people don't like it. Some people love it. And yeah, it's going to be memes for anything that's new and foreign. You got people saying it looks like a router. It looks like a building. It's just hilarious. But we're going to get used to it. And I'm also curious to see a slim version of the PS5. How they're going to do that. How that's going to look. How the pro version is going to look. And that's just me. I just love seeing designs of consoles and seeing new software and new hardware. I'm a tech channel really and truly. But in my heart, I'm a gamer. <laughs> All right, let me end out this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your support. That means a lot to me. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see more PlayStation 5 coverage. Drop a like on this video. Help me out tremendously. And I'll add your boy Pops. And I hope you guys have a simple day. Peace.